Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. This is my second Gemini reading for May, so I will put the other one at the end, you know, in the little pop-up videos that come up at the end if you want to watch the other one. But what do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May. What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Never-ending story. You know, that card kind of speaks for itself. It's something that, you know, if you think about the infinity sign, that's what I just saw, was because the infinity sign is kind of like an, a never-ending story. It's a story that never ends. It goes on and on and on and on and on and on. It's endless energy. So there, in, there's a, there is a, um, what's that thing called? Hourglass here. Um, I have an hourglass here. There's somebody that is um, feeling a struggle. Obviously, this person is struggling, struggling with. It feels like time is running out, but. It's never really running out because all you have to do is flip the switch. So it's interesting. You just you just start over again. Okay, it ends and you start over again. It ends and you start over again. So this is, uh, you know, starting over again. Something is happening. Something is happening. It's starting over again. Think about 3 plus 7 equals 10. Tens are completions. After a completion, what happens? You start over. You do some. You, you're starting over again. So, there is an element of a never-ending story here. I'm just gonna look at the book real quick and see what this has to say. Just for the heck of it. Self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. There's a story woven through the imperfect fabric of life that tells of hurt and loss. Rejection and humiliation, self-loathing and arrogance, and all manner of suffering born of unnecessary dramas. It is the old story whose refrain is that you cannot do this, you must not go there, you should not say that, lest your world come crumbling down. Today, know that none of that is actually true. The sky is not falling. The voice you hear is just a small, sacred, conditioned part of you that got stuck in a lie, wants to protect you, and needs to be seen as a victim. Love that lost piece of you. Fear is all it knows. Distorted guidance is preventing you from being true to yourself. You are not your story. And the, narr the narrator is simply the voice of your fearful part small and vulnerable and easily soothed. Sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for other more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to, to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is. However, right now you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin in a new story you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones have compassion for the part of you that believes all those narratives none of them were ever true anyway it's time to create a new story it's time to stop living that old story so let's get two of these I've decided to only get two of these because the cards are so deep so, two cards for Gemini, please, for the month of May. You're going to be starting a new story. You are. You are creating a new story, a new you. Uh, changing things drastically, obviously. That old you is falling away. This is a chariot. taking a ride, taking a journey, mastering your emotions, finding the discipline and the willpower and the strength to move forward. Some of you are going to actually be moving. This is a transformation. The chariot is a transformation card. It's going someplace. 
controlling your emotions, taking care of yourself, perhaps taking care of your inner child. This is about self-discipline and self-control. Going someplace else. You are. You are moving in a new direction. That is what we have here. One more card, please. You could be dealing with a cancer as well. Not sure. Or oh, cancer could be coming into your life. Doesn't have to be. But with the chariot card, that is you being in control. Taking the lead. Be taking the reins. Being the boss. Taking charge. Getting in the driver's seat of your life. Of your story. So yeah, you're going to be taking the reins. You're going to be taking ownership. One more card, please. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is the moment of decision. It's also a partnership of some sort. You may be moving into a new partnership. Somebody that you are... Oh, you're going to be tangled up with somebody that is, it looks like, it looks like it's a mirror. It does. It looks like it's a mirror. It could be a perfect match. And the chariot is often about opposition. Okay. So I'm wondering, and opposites attract, but this is, this is, uh, I'm not sure what is going on here, but it looks as though you are going to be connecting with somebody on a very deep level. This is your mirror. This could be your match. Okay. This is a two of wands. This is, um, it's almost like looking at yourself, looking at yourself in the mirror. So even if it's not a connection, this could be connecting with yourself. <laughs> you get it? Looking at yourself in the mirror, re seeing who you are. That's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be looking at yourself, looking at wh about wh where you've been, who you've become. You're going to be looking at yourself in the mirror and changing things up. It is a transformation. You're going to be changing everything. You're probably going to be changing your looks. You're going to be changing your ways. You're going to be seeing a different person. And you can and you can take that in any way that you want. You're going to be seeing a different person. So let's see. What do we have for Gemini for May? Creating a new story based on what you see now. Four of Wands. This is happiness, commitment, contentment, going to a gathering, celebrating. You may be going to a gathering. You, may meet, you could meet somebody at a gathering. Somebody that um, is very similar to you. Doesn't have to be. Or you're going to a... a gathering by yourself and you're quite happy to do so I mean this person's obviously going by themselves now seeing the light headed towards the light headed towards enlightenment this is going someplace very very beautiful as well it looks like it's a beautiful destination ahead so wherever you're going, it's beautiful. Okay, you're traveling. You're going somewhere. And wherever you're going, um, it is definitely beautiful. <clears throat> Knight of Cups reversed. Four of Pentacles reversed. So opening up. Somebody is going to be opening up and sharing. But the Knight of Cups reversed is somebody who was not expressing their feelings. Unable, not emotionally available. Not looking for love, not looking for a relationship, not looking for romance. So you may be going someplace. You're going someplace, okay? Looks like you're going someplace. You're traveling someplace. You're not even looking for a relationship. Somebody's not looking or they're not looking for love or whatever the case is. They're not looking for any sort of connection. They have their, you know, just focused on yourself perhaps. Something is going on. It's like you're not even looking for a connection, right? You're not looking for a romantic connection. You're not. That's what the Knight of Cups not looking for it. 
Four of Pentacles. You may be focused on your money. You're focused on your current commitment or whatever it is that you're committed to. Your home, your family. You're, you're focused on something else. Um, now this is opening up, sharing, giving, coming out of hiding. Queen of Cups reversed. It's it's going to be an intense time. It's going to be very emotional. There's some sort of, when you get the Queen of Cups in reverse, there's an element of a lack of self-love or unhappiness, sadness. Feeling sad, maybe depressed. Not wanting to open up. You may be, you may be depressed. Somebody's depressed. The queen, you could be dealing with somebody that's depressed. The Queen of Cups, or you could be dealing with the Queen of Cups in reverse is, is disappointment. It's self-loathing. It's jealousy. It's, uh, did I say sadness? Somebody could be drowning in their emotions. Now you could be dealing with this person or it could be you. Okay, somebody, you could be dealing with somebody that is drowning you. You know, they're drowning you. They're holding you down. Could be a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Because there is, we have that a couple times, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with somebody that is very emotional, very sensitive, hypersensitive. Um, maybe this person um, is holding you down in some way. Or this is you needing to master your emotions because the chariot is about mastering your emotions and both of these cards are not okay so somebody needs to master their emotions and take control take control of their emotions take control of their life ace of pentacles reversed and that is a huge loss it's a lost opportunity a lost relationship lost opportunity lost relationship a lost love a lost love opening up but this is blossoming seeing seeing something because the, the in this card he has the mask on but that that in the reverse taking the mask off seeing so I'm, not, I'm wondering if there's a lost love that is or you're starting to see something about a lost love or a lost love is starting to see something about you but the ace of pentacles reverse is a lost opportunity it was a huge one Something didn't manifest or it's not manifesting. It's not real. It's unrealistic. There's no opportunity. There's no opportunity to, you can't have it. Hmm. The world, we have a, this is a new beginning, a completion of a cycle. Letting something go, letting go of an obsession. And maybe that's, that's maybe you were obsessed with something. It was this never ending story. And this is this was an the four of pentacles is an obsession, and this is letting it go, letting go of an old relationship. Maybe you're you know you're not you're not hanging on to it anymore. You're letting it go. You're completing that cycle in your life. Endings bring up about new beginnings. So there is a the, the world card is a new beginning. It's leaving the past behind. Stepping into new territory, learning a lesson. So I think that you and this is a whole new you. So you are about to start a new phase of your life and, and it's like a whole new you. It's a whole new life. It's a whole new world. Some of you are actually traveling to another part of the world. You may be moving. You could meet somebody that is from a different part of the world. They live in a different area. They live at a distance. Maybe this person travels to you or you travel to them if you're single. Um... Two of Wands reversed. There's there's a level of indecision, fear, fear of the unknown, and that's what, right next to this Queen of Cups. There's fear. This this Two of Wands reversed is staying put because of fear of the unknown, and the Queen of Cups reversed is also fear. That is uh, loneliness, sadness, despair. Because somebody is too fearful to step into new territory. But they're going to. They're going to. Um, we do it. The world card is you've come as far as you can come. It's time to go leave the past behind and, and start over. This is your new story. You are about to begin a new story. 
This is a brand new life, a brand new story. It's like the decision is going to be made. It's like you look in the mirror and you decide. That's not my story. That's not who I am. That's not who I want to be. So I, I think you decide to let go of something that you were hanging on to. Maybe you were obsessed with it. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like that's what it is to me. Yeah, it's over. That's the that's a dead end. Four of Swords. That's a, that is that's the death of an idea. Letting go of your old ways. This is this is turning turning away from it. That's stone cold, right? So I think that you are letting go of a dead end, uh, dead weighted uh, relationship where you know it's not giving you any sort of fulfillment. It's like you see a bigger, brighter opportunity when you look at. I don't know what happens. It's like you see love for yourself. It's like you see the light. You see the light. It's like boom. It's like you wake up and it's like, man, that's not who I am. So I feel like you have gotten to a point where it's dead. It's dead. You're in a situation where there's no feelings left. It's cold. It's a cold. It's cold. It's it's hard. It's it's uh It's very lonely. It's very lonely. It's very, um, you've been there for a long time. You've been there for a long time. It's gotten old. It's gotten old and you're sick of it. You're sick of it. You're ready for this new life. You're ready to go someplace else. It's like nobody's coming to rescue you. And maybe that's what you realize that the only person that can rescue you is you. You can't just keep sitting here and let people walk on you and let people ignore you and you know it feels like you've been happy in that situation for a while but I think that you've reached a point where you know maybe you want something more so Gemini I feel like in May you are going to be letting go of a desperate situation that was not bringing you any fulfillment it's gotten old. It's gotten to the point where there's no happiness. You're sick of being alone. It's like you're lonely. You're lonely. And the only way things are going to change is if you take action. You take control. You take the reins. And you get up and you go someplace and you do something about it. So I feel like in May, you know, you are going to find some sort of mental strength with a chariot card to change your story. It's like you get up in the morning, you look in the mirror and you say, this is it. This is it. And I think that you're going to have that epiphany, epiphany moment where, you know, you decide that you're not just going to play dead. You're not just going to play dead anymore. You know, I'm not just going to play dead. I'm going to let go of this obsession. I'm going to open myself up and I'm going to travel and I'm going to do this. and I'm going to do that. I'm going someplace. That cycle of my life is over. That's not who I am. I'm not going to sit here in a self-loathing state of mind for the rest of my life. And and uh, let people walk on me. I think that you just decide that it's time to uh, get up and go someplace else and do something different instead of living that old story. So I think in, I think in May you're going to uh, something significant with the world card is going to end, and you're, it's because you're choosing. You're choosing to let something go, something that you've been holding on to, something that you have been fearful of letting go of and maybe it was a self-protection tactic or or whatnot some of you may have if you think take a look at this this person right here that's heavy weight some of you may have put on weight to protect yourself you know maybe it's maybe it's about losing weight maybe it's about you know um finding the mental strength and the, and the discipline to shed it to shed that weight if that's what this is um, I do feel as though with that four of wands that you're about to find your own happiness because the four of wands is about happiness and you're going to find it. It's like you are going to, going to find it. You're going to, you're going to, it's like all of a sudden it's like, I'm, 
I'm going to commit myself. I'm going to, this is, that's commitment. I'm going to commit myself to being happy. And I think when you see the light, you know, this, the sun is about love and it's about self love. So it's about, you decide to love yourself. It's like you, by yourself, you know, how we started this out by myself, you know? So, and I think you're not, you end up, you know, deciding that you don't want to run a relationship or you don't want this. You don't want that. You're doing your own thing. And if for some of you, you may meet somebody that doesn't want a relationship, you know, um, I think there is a chance meeting here. I do. And it's funny that I say that it doesn't really show up, but I feel it. It comes by chance. I feel like uh, perhaps neither people are looking for a relationship, but when they meet each other, they look at each other and they feel the connection. They feel the, the deep connection. Okay. It's deep. It's very deep. They feel the, um, It's like your this it's like a mirror, okay, a mirror image right there. So I think whoever this person is, there's 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 a lot of opposition, but there's a lot of attraction. Um it feels like when you look at this person, there's similar features. You will see similar features of yourself in this person. So be prepared for a, a, a new beginning to start because the world card is an ending that leads to a new beginning. And I think this ending at, comes after you make a decision that you have been avoiding. It's like you've been, you've been avoiding making this decision or you're just comfortable where you were at or you were comfortable living that old life or something like that. And it's like all of a sudden you look in the mirror and you decide that that's not the life you want anymore. And it happens just like that. And I know a lot of you can be like, oh no, not me. Do you know how much can change in a day? Your life can change in a second. It feels like we have somebody here that goes from a period of uh, loneliness, stagnation, um, self-loathing, uh, poor, poor, pitiful me to... I'm going to live and I'm going to be happy. I see one situation coming to an end and a new, and a new beginning here. I do see a new beginning. Um, I see traveling as well. I see letting go of a relationship that is emotionally unfulfilling. That somebody has stayed in because of an of, 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 uh, obsessive nature, obsession. I see letting go of that obsession. And deciding that happiness is someplace else. And that is what I got. Good luck.